Well, hey, I'm Paul McGowan, CEO of PS Audio. Look what I have in my hand. See the little light here? As I spin this back and forth, you can see it. As I turn this magnet, this light is turning on. Why? Because this magnet is being turned in the proximity of a coil of wire. And the story of the coil of wire and the magnet, which generates all the electricity we use today, is a great story and one that I would like to share with you. We have a free DVD from Coal to Coal Train. This is not a marketing piece. This is just a 40 minute long story of how electricity was discovered, how it's generated, how it gets to your home. We visit a power plant, we visit Hoover Dam. It's a pretty fun video and we're going to show you an excerpt of it in just a second. But I just wanted to let you know about this video and how to get it. So all you need to do is email us free DVD at psaudio.com. Here's an excerpt. In the summer of 1890, a Tesla generator and motor were installed here in Telluride. Now, the generator is at the Ames Hydroelectric Plant, which is where we are right now. The Ames plant is the world's first generating station to produce and transmit alternating current. It uses a Tesla generator that's built by Westinghouse. Now, it's run from the water that comes down the falls from behind us, and it produces enough power to drive the mine and the entire city of Telluride, making it the first city in the United States that was west of the Mississippi that had any kind of electric power. We're standing at one of the world's largest engineering marvels, Hoover Dam. Built in the 1930s, Hoover Dam has been named one of the seven modern engineering marvels of our time. Now to put that in perspective, some of the other seven marvels are the Empire State Building, the Panama Canal, and the Golden Gate Bridge. Hoover Dam was built during America's Great Depression. The structure uses two and a half million cubic feet of concrete, which is enough to build a 16-foot highway from coast to coast, from San Francisco to New York. The dam holds back one of the mightiest rivers in our country, the Colorado, whose headwaters begin within driving distance of PS Audio. To build this mighty structure, the engineers and workers spent a total of four years to complete, and amazingly enough, Hoover Dam came in under budget and on time. Hoover Dam produces electricity through 17 main water-driven turbines. With a rated capacity of 3 million horsepower, the plant can produce about 2% of the electrical energy needs of the entire United States. Today, three quarters of a century later, after this dam was built, the work of Michael Faraday, Nikola Tesla, Westinghouse are all here, and they're all producing electricity in the same manner. In fact, this dam produces two billion watts of power every single moment of every day. And right next door to Hoover Dam is Las Vegas, Nevada. So interestingly enough, the power from Hoover Dam has nothing to do with Las Vegas. All of this is powered with coal. Now how does a coal-fired power plant work? Let's go take a look. Coal. It's a major source of fuel that the world uses to provide electrical energy. In fact, coal is used to produce about 40% of the world's electrical energy. But what is it? Well, actually, coal is a form of stored solar energy, just like oil and natural gas. We know that oil was formed many millions of years ago from small animals in the seas called diatoms, which used the energy of the sun as food. In the same manner, coal is made from plants millions of years old, who also relied on the sun's energy as a source of nutrition. Now, to generate electricity, we use coal as a fuel source to boil water and make steam. The steam is used to spin a turbine connected to an electrical generator, which is basically a spinning magnet and a coil of wire in exactly the same manner as Hoover Dam used falling water to spin its generators. The power of falling water and the energy available in coal all came from the energy of our sun in a process that continues through today. Let's take a closer look at how we convert the energy of coal to electricity. An excerpt from our free DVD, 
from coal to coal train. There's the war of currents between Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. Um, more great interviews with Michael Fremer, um, Bob Harley, Mark Shifter. Lots of good stuff, lots of good educational things inside of this. There's no product mention within the entire video. Why do we want to send it to you? Well, we sent over 30,000 of these out so far, and to date, this has shown a lot of you how electricity works, its importance, and well, then uh, maybe we can send you a newsletter, maybe you can uh, check out some of our products. But in any case, it's fun. To get your free DVD, all you need to do is send us an email, freedvd at psaudio.com. Thanks for watching.